Hi, I'm Dr. Sri Ganesh from uh, Netadama Super Speciality Eye Hospital and I'll be posting videos uh, almost every week. Um, some of them are teaching videos and some are interesting cases that I have done. And uh, if uh, you like my videos, hit the like button and press the bell notification to get notifications whenever I post a video. So today I'm going to demonstrate uh, uh, Terraring implantation. And uh, we have a 50-year-old uh, female with uh, bilateral keratoconus. She has, uh, the keratoconus is more in the right eye and she improves only uh, to 6 by 12 as corrected. The left eye is improving to 6 by 6 and the right eye cornea is uh, irregular. So we have planned uh, keratings for her. If you look at the uh, topography, this is the uh, right eye pentacam and you can see that there is an inferior steepening and most of the cone is uh, shifted inferiorly. This is the Keraring uh, nomogram. So if you look at the nomograms, her refractive error spherical equivalent is more than uh, 10 diopters. So this is uh, more than 10 diopters spherical equivalent will be and uh, 0, 100. So when you take a line across the axis, uh, then you have uh, the distribution is 0% and 100% and we are going to use a 250 and a 350 micron thickness ring, a 160 segment, so asymmetrical rings. And uh, this is the planning. You can see that uh, the axis is at uh, 156 degrees. That's where the incision is going to be. And then uh, the 350 micron ring is going to come inferiorly and the 250 micron ring superiorly. And this is the refractive error, minus 10 with minus six cylinder, improving to 612. So the aim is to improve the um, surface of the cornea and in, improve the regularity and then later on we can correct the residual refractive error with uh, toric ICL. And this is the map from the MS-39 which allows you to plan rings and the placement of the rings. So we'll go on to the machine and I'll show you the uh, details in the Visumax. So we're going to use the Visumax femtosecond laser to make the channels and then implant the rings. So this is the screen for the ICR on the Visumax and uh, the ICR is placed at uh, 5 mm zone so you can see that the inner diameter is 4.6 outer diameter is 5.9 and this is the inner and outer depth and the and the angle uh, the axis incision is a 1 mm uh, incision at 156 degrees and you can see this is um, how this is the 5 mm zone and you can see the incision is 156 degrees and these are the channels which are created and they are at a depth of about 80 microns. So the corneal thickness here is about 470 microns. Um, so they will be implanting uh, the, will be implanting the rings at a depth of uh, 400 microns. That's the patient interface. And uh, the cone is getting calibrated. So now I'm going to dock and aplanate and dock the eye. So you will see a green flashing light. You have to keep looking at the green flashing light. Okay. It will come closer. Focus on the green light please. Look at the green light. Focus on the green light. Focus on the green light. Sanction on. Okay, that's very good. Just relax completely. Ready. The channels take about 10 seconds. Don't move. Hold very still. We're starting the laser. Okay, those are the channels on 160 degrees, 156 degrees is the So this is the forceps.
slowly push the ring into the channel and then you use this dialer see that it is symmetrically placed That is the 350 micron ring. Then we are going to place the 250 micron ring superiorly. So these Kera rings are designed in such a way that uh, you see that the apex is anterior and the base is should be posterior. And it's got two eyelets on either side of the segment. from the incision and symmetrically placed. And uh, since the incision is very clean, there is no need to suture. Some surgeons suture the incision, but if it is not distorted, then there is no need to suture. And you can see that the light reflex also has improved is clear the, that is the under high magnification you can see that the rings are very symmetrically placed and well centered so that was a, a demonstration of the Kara rings um, with the Visumax femtosecond laser for making the channels it's a quite a simple procedure and it improves the regularity of the cornea improves best corrected vision and then the residual refraction can be corrected with uh, a physical well. Thank you.